Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Gracie Lee, and today I'm going to be doing a smoky eye tutorial. I'm not like a massive makeup guru, but I know the basics, and my friends have told me that this is something I might be good at, so I'm just going to give it a go, and if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, and I might do another one. So I'm just going to do the eyes on camera and primer. I'm all finished. If you want to see how I do my skin, I might do another tutorial with like a basic bitch eyeshadow, just like a natural one, but yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm just going to get right into it. Also, I really can't afford like expensive products, so I'm just going to be a beauty on a budget. My skin has broken out so bad. I think it's like because it was just December and I just had my birthday and then I ate quite badly on New Year's too, so my skin's like... <gasps> I'm going to use a little bit of setting spray. My brother's girlfriend actually gave me five Chi Chi palettes. And like, Chi Chi's not that expensive, but um, I wouldn't have been able to afford it on my own. And she's just like, hey, I don't use them. So I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> well, I would love them. I feel like I should zoom the lens in maybe. Alrighty guys, I've just zoomed it in. So... Now I'm just going to use my CoverGirl concealer to conceal, might as well conceal the bags a little bit as well. I conceal my eye bags like three times because they're quite severe at the moment. <laughs> I think most of you would know that concealer on your eyelids just makes the eyeshadow go on ten times better. But if you didn't know, then that's what it's for. Lovely. Oh my god, there's like two cats and a dog or something fighting outside my house. Okay, so now I just go over my crease. So I just outline where I want the eyeshadow to be with a really light colour, first of all. I kind of like make this not like triangular shape like I just make a straight line down here rather than using tape I mean tape is good too though now I've outlined roughly where it will be and I'm just going to blend it's quite pigmented for such a cheap palette that's why I love the Chi Chi palettes well it's not super cheap but yeah Cheaper than like tart and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to go through with a darker grey. Go over the same spot now that I can see where I want to be. It looks kind of messy, but it all comes together in the end. Alrighty, so there's our rough shape of our in our first layer. So bear with me, guys. It will come together. Then I'll do my first shade of white. just in the corner there this white will look grey at the end of the video okay and now I grab the darkest colour so it's like pure black make sure you don't get too much because it comes out like straight away and then I just put it in this bottom corner here to always do my skin first and then my eyes last but I realized that if you do your eyes first it's easier to start over like if you severely screw up your whole head and now I'm gonna do another layer of white because the white's not very pigmented I mean it is pigmented for white but like the black and the gray overpower it make sure you really blend out here as well this side's not quite blended enough Shape it with your fingers. The, your fingers get black, but you can just wipe that at the end. Now I just do another layer. And clean all those patches up a bit more. It looks crazy at this stage, but... Now I just 
just do a bunch of white layers because otherwise it just looks like it's fully black. Look at that acne. Ooh. But I am going to start my proper body cleanse soon and I'm going to film a leg day um, workout for you guys. I want to film workouts because like a few of my friends are too scared to go to the gym and same with some of my family members so I'm like well if I can go and put it on film I might give them the confidence to go join the gym seeing that you don't have to be fit to go to the gym you go to the gym to improve yourself that's what some people don't realize so not everyone that goes to the gym has a solid eight pack Now it's just time to blend and blend and blend. I feel like I've just been blending for the entire time. Now it's time for liner and I'm using an Australis eyeliner as well. It's really thick so I'm not going to do a wing. I do it really thick at the ends when I'm not doing a wing as well and really thin in the middle. I also just put my liquid eyeliner brush on the side like this and dab in if there are any um, like spaces, gaps, that's the word I was looking for, if there are any gaps. And I'm going to look like an alien but because I'm doing a smoky eye, um, I will do eyeliner on the waterline because I think that if you do eyeliner on the waterline for a smoky eye it makes it look more like your eye looks more slim and like sexy <laughs> but if you're going for like a natural gorgeous look then I, I'd recommend doing eyeliner on the outside so your eyes look nice and big mascara I just used this I don't know how to pronounce it Rimmel one it's very old but you know it does the job so I'm just gonna put my bottom lashes on first and make sure you do your top lashes as well even if you are gonna put fake false eyelashes on because then I'll show you why once I've done once I've got my lashes on Okay, so a lot of people ask me about how to put lashes on because I have been wearing them for about three years now, every single day. <laughs> I just become obsessed with it. I was told once um, in primary school that I look like a boy because I had no eyelashes. And I'm like, well that's strange, like well, now that I think about it, that's quite strange because, I'm sorry, I'm just brushing them out. Most boys, coincidentally, have gorgeously long eyelashes, so I don't know why. I mean, I wish I knew that as a kid. Alrighty, so before I even put the glue on, I'm just bending them. I bend, what I do with mine is I bend them in the corner. I don't know if you can see, but I bend them like in this corner here. So that they like sit on and they go in the corner better. I don't use too much glue either. If you use too much then it kind of just slides off I find. So yeah, I'm just bending it again before I pop it on. And I just place it there and it just goes on. And then you just, what I do with my fingers is I kind of clamp. This is why you put mascara on your top lashes as well. Because you then just clamp them together. You can do this with tweezers as well. Just pressing in on the corner there, that glue will dry and won't be visible. It would be lots easier to just get eyelash extensions instead of doing this every day. Might actually just use this brush to hold that bitch down. And then if you kind of just bear with it, they will um, dry and stay on their own rather than playing around with it like the glues needs to dry before it can stick. 
Same with the other one, just bending it in there. And then just like the other one, just place it where you want it to be. Voila. And now I just do my adjusting. So, also these lashes are two different types of lashes. I just glued them together myself to make more like volume. Now I'm going to do the inner corner highlight. I use the Australis cream eyeshadow thingy. It's good shit and it's cheap. You really don't need much at all. Like this is literally going to last me like three years because you just need like the tiniest amount ever. I even might put a little bit on my eye like that. And then the same with the other side. If you wear this stuff and you gym with your makeup on, be really careful because when this shit sweats into your eye, it actually does sting. But like, I could put it in my eye accidentally right now and it wouldn't hurt. But when it sweats in there, it stings. I don't know. It's weird. Might do a little bit extra just to make it really pop in. Alrighty, and one final thing before we're finished with the eyes. Grab my palette again and my brush. Same cup, same palette as before. I'm just going to grab that grey. Dab it on there. Put it under my eye. And then blend, as per usual. Otherwise, it looks like I've just put some really thick as shit eyeliner on there. And then, it's like this side's a little bit patchy, so I just put a little bit of black there and blend a little bit more, even though the lashes are already on. Alrighty guys, I've just finished my makeup. Um, I didn't think I'd do my skin on camera because I thought, well, this is just a smoky eye tutorial, but this is the complete look. And if you'd like to see how I do my skin and my brows and my lips, um, be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, I really hope you like this video. My next one will be of me training uh, leg day. So, this isn't just a purely makeup channel by any means. This channel will be me traveling and just advice on random topics and just highlights my life. I'm kind of using it as a way to document things because I really enjoy it. Um, I really hope that you learned something. And yeah, bye guys.